Hello YouTube. I'll try to type with the recording equipment right in front of me here. See if I can do it. Happy New Year! So last time we spoke I had a, a Fold 4 and I will talk to you about why I now have a Fold 3. Uh, but before I do that let me just um, discuss what happened after I got rid of my Fold 4. I thought I'd never used a flip phone before so I got me a Fold uh, Flip 3 only for £90 because of the issue that you can see there. It works fine, there's nothing else wrong with it except for that uh, scre uh, screen's damage. <clears throat> um, it says that constant marker there, but also this flickering. It, sometimes it goes, but it, it's mostly there. So I've used this for, um, I don't know, uh, probably four weeks, three weeks, something like that. Put it through its paces because I thought I'd never used one. I need to review one for the channel quickly and, and uh, share my thoughts. Really love the form factor, really like the portability. Something you just open, do your business, close straight into the pocket, not heavy um, and customizable. I mean, I haven't done much here, but I'm pretty sure. Let's see, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can customize all of this. There you go. Um, but what I wanted to share was the experience that I've been able to play the games that I would play on the fold. I've been able to play them here. No problem, no lag whatsoever. Uh, there is only one significant issue, which you all probably know about if you've used the Flip 3, which is battery life. Hardly lasts a day. Uh, you can actually count, literally see the battery drop. Uh, I had never been one of those people to buy a portable um, charger this small to connect and, and take with you. But I had to do it for this because it, it just, and luckily it also comes with this. If you if you needed it to be, um, you know, maybe you have a different phone and this is uh, tricky to get to, you can use the adapter. But that's what I found myself having to do. Um, so if you're considering buying this, I would say, and look at the, the covers, makes it look very nice. They make really good cases as well for this that you can get. Um, but if you're considering getting this, I would say go with the newer version uh, because my wife has the Flip 4, not a single problem with battery life. In fact, she has extra battery life at the end of the day. Um, also, the cameras have been improved. Um, as you know, it's got a new processor. Uh, so that's something to go for. I would, I would not recommend a Flip 3 simply because of battery life. Uh, I don't know whether these screen issues appear uh in the flip three um by default but i have not seen many with the with the issue here i'll just say battery life is going to be your worst enemy if you get a uh, flip three so that's my quick look at it uh, i just wanted to also put it side by side with the um so this is an s10 plus you will see that the flip is longer but the s10 plus is wider slightly wider and also, uh, this is a, a plus, so it's not the standard version. So you're not really losing much by going with a flip phone. Uh, you're getting the benefit that you can fold it, it's portable, and all the things I mentioned before. Uh, but yeah, you're not really losing much in terms of real estate of the screen. Um, I don't see that many people that would use this and then use that would want to go back to this. I think people would still, would, would if you've touched a flip phone, you'll probably want to use a flip or a foldable uh, for the rest of your life, basically, or, or anything better. I don't see that you would want to go back to this. That's been my experience, so I thought I would share that as well. So that's the, that's the flip. Go with the newer one. Uh, forget this one because you're not going to like the battery life, even if you're not a heavy user. So that's that one. Um, I'll, I'll link this in the in the um, uh, description. So, this cost me two hundred and ninety uh, pounds. That's about three hundred and fifty US dollars. Um, the owner advertised it as damaged screens, both of them. Uh, that is true because you can see here the outer screen, and I will just replace this. I think it will cost less than a hundred bucks to replace this myself um the other thing that he thought was damaged is the inner screen so you can see there those are essentially air bubbles uh and as you can see they go under there as well where the the hinge uh kind of bends and it's the edge um basically all it is is just this needs removing and replacing samsung charges something like 20 bucks to replace this it's also something that could be done um at home but i wouldn't recommend it because you may have implications on your um 
warranty if you accidentally say touch the display underneath um but the owner certainly thought that this was damage and he listed it as damage on the on the so i thought it was a good deal the other thing is this is let me show you the uh storage in this thing uh this uh, that's another thing that made me um go for it so if i go to storage uh here we go 512 this is the first 512 gig device I've owned. I've always gone maximum 256. So again, I thought it was good for the price, but do let me know what you think in the comments. So those are the two damages. Uh, the air bubbles, as you can see, you can test the screen. You can go into the diagnostics. It's not showing any issues because that's just air bubbles there. Uh, and it's something that I, I could choose to fix. Now, I bought a Fold 4. And I used it and it was quite, it was good. But then I saw an opportunity because I could sell it for uh, slightly higher than I paid. You know, I, I had uh, had a few discounts and I had also um, traded in some of the older devices that I had laying around. So that means I paid less for my fold instead of these 16, 1700 that they were asking for. So I, I sold it and I thought, you know, I've been waiting for the fold three to get things like this. So, um, so you see the tray here that's come with the latest updates. It's now there. I like to multitask and I always have my bar there, but this thing I use daily. So I like this. Um, and all the other things that came with the latest uh, improvement in software, you know, the stacking of the cards and things like that, that is uh, come to this as well uh, with the latest Android. I just saw, thought to myself, okay, what are the big differences between this and the Fold 4? Really good devices, really good form factor, and they've revised the hinge on the 4. Uh, they've also strengthened the inner screen. They have a new processor. Battery life is great. Those are the advantages that you will have for a 4 instead of a 3. And I had to weigh it up and think, okay, am I losing much by staying with the Fold 3? Uh, and the answer to that was no. Um, uh, they, they, you know, they've improved the cameras as well on the four. But then I'm not using, um, you know, higher pixel, megapixel count to take photos. I just kind of use auto really, and they're really good cameras uh, here. We know that on the Fold Four, I believe they they use the S twenty. Um, is it the S twenty two camera? Anyway, they use some of the S line cameras on there. Uh, which made it better than these, uh, but I, I find what I use here is um, is adequate. So uh, I'm really pleased that I got a bargain. Uh, I don't know what you think. Do let me know in the comments. Uh, what is it like using a Fold? So I think you know my history has been that I have been a Note user, so the Galaxy Note line, and when they got rid of that, I was really, really upset. And, you know, they brought in the... Um, the S20 line with the with the S Pen now the S22 Ultra has got an S Pen embedded in there. It's I don't know why I don't feel like it's just the same. But then at the same time they introduced something much better, and I had to ask myself why I really wanted the Note and it, it's mainly multitasking but bigger screens as well. So when the Fold came out, I was highly highly impressed, having used the Fold uh, Three uh, and the Fold Four. And I don't see myself going back to to the usual style of phones ever um, unless something drastically changes because the fold. Uh, and, you know, I saw I saw MKBHD and I saw Mr. Who's the Boss and they did their top devices for the year. Um, I don't know why the fold didn't feature because I actually thought that uh, fold four, not the three that I have here. I thought the fold four would be at least in the top two of the best devices for this year. Uh, it just, just the level of um, value that you get. It's not value for money because I think they're quite expensive, but the value that you get is higher than all the other uh, devices. I think a reasonably priced um, Fold will probably be 1300 top, top. No, no, nothing more than that. Uh, because you get a lot of multitasking stuff that you really want on a device. Like I recently um, uh, went for a new job, all my revisions and everything I did, the application process, all of that I did from the Fold. It was the Fold 4 before I got rid of it. But 
that just shows you the capability of these things. Um, you can do almost all of that on the device itself. Um, so really, really um, good spec, uh, really good uh, performance. I haven't experienced any lag, uh, anything like that for both folds. Um, and if you were to say to me, I've got a Fold 3 and I would like to see uh, your opinion on whether I should get the Fold 4, uh, I would say consider the things I've talked about. Fold 4 definitely has better battery life, not because it's a bigger capacity, it's the same capacity, but it um, it, it basically been improved by software. And I, I was able to see that. I can testify that that's true. I saw that uh, it's, it's uh, significant. Uh, the the difference there. Uh, the other thing is you, obviously your cameras. I talked about as well the enhancements there. Uh, the other stuff that is software based, as you saw, we've all also got it here on the on this device. Uh, but if you wanted to really um, make an economical decision in these tough times, you won't go wrong with getting a Fold Three um, at a cheaper price uh, uh, than than the Fold Four because you won't be missing much out of that. So that uh, that has been my experience. That's all I wanted to share. Uh, I'll be interested in hearing your thoughts. It was good to put kind of a review of the fold and the flip in the same video. Um, I'm glad I've had the opportunity to use this thing here. Um, really, really great. It just depends on whether you are a big screen person or you are a, you don't mind using this. Like I said, my wife is comfortable using a Flip 4. I'm comfortable with the bigger screen. The bigger the screen, the better. And you saw what I was doing here when I can put this here and I can type. I can do the same actually with a Flip. So if you have a Flip and you wanted something like this, again, I'll see if I can link it in the description. You can also use this same way. You put it here and you can type all these things. I'll see if I can show you actually. Let's see if I, if it's still connected, I should be able to. Um, I think it's connected to my other phone, so I can't show you here. Uh, I've taken it off the flip because I'm using this now as my daily driver. So um, that's what I wanted to share. Again, I thought this was a bargain. Let me know what you think. Um, and most of all, have a happy new year. See you in the, in the new year. Bye-bye.